Main Intelligence Directorate of the Ukrainian Intelligence Service has claimed responsibility for the drone attack on the ammunition depot in Ostrogosk city in Russia's Voronezh region on Saturday. The agency confirmed that soldiers of the Main Intelligence Directorate attacked Russian field ammunition depot belonging to the West Group of the Russian Armed Forces. More than 5,000 tons of ammunition, including artillery and tank shells, small arms cartridges and surface-to-air missiles were on the territory of the military facility. Detonation continues, the main directorate stated in its official telegram channel. The explosion occurred in Ostrogosk city after the attack. It should be noted that as many as 200 people were evacuated from three nearby villages following the attack. Two people are said to have been injured. Regional Governor Alexander Guzov said the drones that attacked the area were neutralized by air defense systems, and the fire began due to falling debris. However, the governor did not specify the exact location of the fire or what was detonating. The leader of the so-called Donetsk People's Republic Miners' Union, collaborator Alexander Vaskovsky, warned the Putin regime that anger is growing in the occupied territories. He predicts mass riots. The traitor of Ukraine told about this in an interview with Z blogger Pavel Ivanov. The footage is available on the Telegram channel Ukraine365. Vaskovsky gave a fiery speech about how Donbass was on the brink of a social explosion. He emphasized that in the event of riots, Russia's security agencies would be unable to do anything and would be swept away by a wave of popular anger. What we hear in such internal conversations? The people are driven to it. When a critical mass of people, participants of the SVO, with combat experience accumulates, all their anger and fury will be multiplied by our organizational abilities and technologies, then, I am afraid, neither the prosecutor's office nor the special services simply have the ability to control this matter. Do not drive people to it, because we will not be able to control it, Vaskovsky urged. He claims to have tried several times to reach out to Russian dictator Vladimir Putin, warning him of the problem. It is noteworthy that propagandist Ivanov was very upset by Vaskovsky's frank statements. He warned him that such words could lead to very big problems for the collaborator. You should throw around such words less often, otherwise you will be accused of all sorts of extremism, said the Z blogger. Russia has tortured and arbitrarily detained people in occupied Ukraine, creating a climate of fear and suppressing Ukrainian identity. Russia had tried to suppress Ukrainian identity among children, replacing the curriculum in schools with a Russian one, which sought to justify Moscow's invasion. UN High Commissioner for Human Rights Volker Tuk said in a release linked to the report that the actions of the Russian Federation had resulted in profound and long-lasting consequences for Ukrainian society as a whole. Fires and explosions have continued for the sixth day after the Ukrainian army's kamikaze drones attacked an oil base in the Rostov region of Russia on August 18. It is said that explosions in oil reservoirs continue. It is said that there was another drone attack on the area on August 23. According to Russian telegram channels, a kamikaze drone belonging to Ukraine fell into the factory area, and there were no casualties. It should be noted that the fire, which has been going on for six days, covers an area of more than 10,000 square meters, and a large number of fuel tanks have burned. A firefighting train and aviation were involved in extinguishing the fire. There are many injured among the firefighters. Thank you.